Hey guys, so it's Mo here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. We're gonna get right into it, and this is a DIY, mostly Dollar Tree supply to make your own topiary, so I hope you like it. If this is your first time, hello and welcome. My name is Mo, and I hope you subscribe at the end of this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, and I am going to show you guys all of the supplies that you need in order to make your own topiary. So they sell these um, four inch foam balls. Um, I had to go to another Dollar Tree just to find this size. So this is the four inch foam ball. So you're gonna need one of those. And you're gonna need, I'm not sure how many inches is this one, maybe two. But it comes three in a pack, yeah, it's 2.4 inches. So it comes three in a pack. So you're gonna need one of these foam balls here. Not all three, of course. Let me get this open. Delicious. Get this out of a packet, but you need this size. So you're gonna need one of each. And like I said, I had to drive around to go to a Dollar Tree. So not every supply that's here is from Dollar Tree. So the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of these small little planters. I love it because it has these little um, decors on the side. This one came three in a pack for a dollar. So what I did with this one is I painted it white. So I use my craft white paint for that. And so of course this one, I got this from Walmart. And it was like 99 cents for this paint. I think they was having a sale, so 99 cents for this white paint. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a dowel. So I did get this pack, so they don't have this at Dollar Tree. So like I tell you, I will tell you what's not from Dollar Tree for this, but most of the supplies here is from Dollar Tree. So you're gonna need a dowel, which is gonna be your stick to hold up your topiary. Um, I purchased this particular pack. It's a multi-pack and it's from um, Walmart. So you can get this from maybe Hot Lobby, you, can, you don't have to get the whole pack, you can get individual. And this one came in an eight pack. So the one that I use is the 5 16 of an inch of the dowel. And you, like I said, you can get this at Hobby Lobby, Home Depot, Lowe's, whichever store, yeah, or, or Michael's. But I purchased this from Walmart. You're gonna need your little foam brush. And the reason why you're gonna need that so I painted my dowel this particular color, brown, and I used my brown paint. I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so this one is burnt um, umber, as you can see. And I purchased this from Hobby Lobby, but I think they sell this one as well from Walmart for about 99 cents. So you're gonna need the two paint. And the reason why I have the white paint is because I painted this white. I didn't want to keep this little gray tone and I wanted to give it that little rustic white look. Um, so I painted it white. So I was just showing you that I did already paint it. And this is how it looks when it's painted. Okay, so I painted it white all over. And as you can see, you can see, see the embellishment on the container. You also will need this craft um, floral foam, and it's shaped like this because this particular one is the three by eight uh, by two by eight by 19 inches, and it's shaped like where it can fit. So this one fit perfectly into this like that. So you're gonna need this because this is actually gonna hold up your topiary. If you don't have, if you don't find this one, you can get the square one, just cut it out and make sure that you can get it to fit in there. Cause I know sometimes at some dollar stores you can't find it. So, um, you're gonna need this particular foam. So, 
I am a little devastated because my glue, I ran out of glue sticks. So I would definitely use the glue sticks, the glue gun for this big, um, project, but I didn't get to use it. Um, Cause it ran out and I need to make a run to the hobby store and it's closed on Sunday. The next thing you're gonna need is for your greenery. I use this from Dollar Tree, this whole pack floral moss. I didn't use a whole pack, but I used half of a pack, you know, to make, it'll take half a pack to make one, just about, but I just want to show you. So all, most of everything, but the paint, and like I said, I've had my dowels on hand, um, and like I said, I did paint it this brown color, as you can see, because it gives it that nice natural wood color. I would say you can go get it outside, but I really like that I can paint my dowel with this color and give it that natural wood color look. And like I said, this is the brown that I use. Um, as far as glues go, you can use um, your Mod Podge. I have this glue all from Elmer and it's different just from the regular school glue. This is the multi-purpose glue and it has that um, strong bond it says it bonds strong, safe and non-toxic. And I could definitely use my E6000, but you know, the E6000 is very good, guys, but it does have a foam, a smell to it. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with removing this foam covering off of here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this window because I'm by this window so that you can see. But you're gonna go ahead and take off your foam the plastic off your phone and what I did is you can put some of the glue on the bottom like I said this is a different is different from the school glue you can actually put the hot glue gun down here but like I said I ran out of my glue sticks and I really want to get through in this project so you go ahead and you stick that down there Give it a firm press. Or so this is how it looks when I put up the glue in there. But since I already have a pack of floral moss, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this one. So let's go ahead and use this one up. You want to go ahead and this is okay so i didn't say that this project is going to get a little messy so i do want to sift through some parts of the moss that are brown and i didn't like that so i would take it out of here so i would just just kind of be selective when you're choosing your moss to put it in or on your foam ball so i go ahead and i put it in there just make sure sometimes in the moss you would find some of these little pieces of shrubbery like the sticks in there and I don't I like that so you want to lay your moss down and pat it down into the glue and it will dry This is how it's gonna look down on the inside. And I'm sorry about the light from outside, I did try to close that. <laughs> so this is how it looks, okay. The next thing you're gonna do is, I was debating on if I'm gonna go ahead and put the moss down. I take my ball, um, first you wanna take your dowel and you wanna put it in the center. And see, as I painted, I didn't paint the whole thing all the way down, as you can see, because that part is gonna be in the pot. So you wanna make sure that you get it right in the center. And this looks like the center. So you're gonna give it a nice good push down. And therefore, you're gonna be left with this. Okay, see how that looks? Got that natural wood color. So I'm gonna take it here like that, and I'm gonna center the ball on my craft in the center. 
I'm gonna give it a nice push down. So one hand is holding the stick, and the other hand is just slowly working and pushing it down until it pops that hole. And then once you pop it in, it makes this little piece here. So you're gonna slide this down all the way to the bottom. But what I do, and this is why I like the glue gun, you're gonna put some glue here. And this is, like I said, this is a strong bonding glue and that's why I'm using this one. You're gonna push this down a little bit further, but first you're gonna wait and you're gonna put some glue here, right down here where you're gonna push the foam ball there because you don't want it to keep sliding down. So it's gonna bond to that part. So now you will push it all the way down and it should stay in place. And then you wanna also put some of that glue up here so that it will not move as well. Don't be afraid of the white color here. You won't see it because when you once you put your foam, your um, floral moss on there, you won't see it. So this is just to prevent it from going down any further. So now we can work with just this portion of it. You're gonna get your glue. Well, first thing I like to do is actually get my moss out because I don't want the glue to be dripping. So I would take my moss and I would kind of just kind of sift through it and have it ready to go. Because like I said, this project is not an easy, it is a messy. So I will get all of my moss together. And like I said, you, you're gonna add moss to it later, you know, for spaces in there. So I get that all together. Then you're gonna take your glue all and I work at sections at a time. So I get the glue and I work my way with the glue because we're gonna be working from section to section. And then as you do it, and of course the glue is sliding, you wanna cup all of the moss because this is how you will get the moss onto the ball. So then it will look like this, okay? So you're gonna That's the bottom piece, and it gives it that natural look. So you don't want it to be super, super, you know, you want to give it that natural um, green, greenery look to it, and you keep patting it down, you can do that. And the next portion, 
You can do this method, which is go ahead and put the foam on your ball and then put it on there, but I don't know if you may mess up that particular project. So we can try it so that you guys can see on how I do it. I thought that this was very inexpensive because you can get most of the um, items at Dollar Tree. So as you can see, it is taking shape. And my glue is also running out. Like I said, I need to make a run to the craft store. I actually got this glue all from, um, I think I got it from Home Depot. Yeah, I think that's where I got it from. I got it from Home Depot. So as you can see, we're continuing to. So you keep on working like this and cupping it all the way around. As you can see, it's taking its shape. So I love this guy. So my hand's messy, sticky with glue. But guys, it all is rewarding in the end. Yes, it is because you're gonna see your nice little project and you can say that you made it so i hope you guys really like it again as i'm saying this and i hope you give this video a like and that you subscribe to my channel like i said i love to have you here i do make tons of crafts i definitely love to i'm gonna take your floral foam your floral moss ball and you're gonna take it and adjust it where it is right here at the top. Make sure you get your ball is in the center. And then you give it a nice good push down. And it shall stay up there. Um, you don't wanna push it all the way because that's gonna break it just like it did the other. You can just leave it as it is, guys, or you can add a ribbon to it, which I did. I just add a ribbon to just give it that extra decor. And some people don't do that, so. Let me show you how it looks for the finished product. Okay, guys, so this is the finish, finished product. I just and my hands still have all the things on it. I put it up here so you guys can kind of get a look of how it looks finished. And I'm gonna make a second one of these because I want two of them. I could put them in my kitchen. You can put them anywhere, on your desk, your living room, your shelves. This looks very nice. So this is the finished product right here. As you can see, I have it on my secretary's desk. And it looks really, really nice. I did add this bow on it. And you don't have to do that, you can just leave it plain. I just add this bow to kind of give it like a little decor. You can take it off and just keep this nice. And like I said, the nice white color to it, it gives it like a rustic look. So it's not like a clean finished paint. It has some scratches that I added to it to give it that nice little look. And as you can see, it's potted down and that nice natural wood look with that particular brown. I will link, I will put all that down below so that you can go ahead and get the particular color that I found. And it looks so pretty guys, the entire project. I would love to hear your comments and um, I would love to know you did make one and um, as I enjoyed so much making my own little topiary. I think it came out so nice guys, so please comment down below, let me know what you think, and if you wanna see any more type of green rework like this, and I will do that. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel after watching this video if you haven't done so already. And I will, like I said, link everything down below where to go get them. 
And I would link um, the color of the paint. Of course, there's white and then there's that particular brown that give it that nice natural wood color on your dowel. So this is my topiary. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next video, guys. So remember to always live your life beautifully. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.